Hi guys, welcome to Jungle Works. So we are back again with another video. So in this video, we will learn how to set up or how to configure a chatbot for the platform. So chatbot is uh, usually used to fetch some uh, details or it's a kind of an automated conversational flow that will run or whenever a visitor reaches out to your platform through the widget or wants to connect to the support or he wants to connect with the service provider so through the chat a conversational flow will be done that will be configured according to the questions or requirements that you have or you need from the customer so that uh, the user has to just log in as an admin and from the admin dashboard you just have to jump onto the hippo dashboard because uh, currently hippo is taking care of or the chatbot can be configured from the hippo dashboard so uh, this, uh, the path is uh, move to admin dashboard and then conversations and then jump on to uh, the, uh, to the hippo dashboard by clicking on chat dashboard so once you are on the hippo dashboard uh, you'll see the icon of a uh, bot over here and this is the bot section and this is the conversational flow <coughs> that would be uh, visible to you as a demo while you will be uh, configuring uh, the the questionnaire or the conversation flow over here according to the requirements that you will be having from the user so first of all when you are on uh, the hippo bot you just have to either you can just edit on this default bot or you can just proceed to create a new bot group it, so let's just currently uh, turn this bot group status off to off because when you uh, enable this toggle the bot will be live on the website Uh, then uh, just uh, what we have just to do uh, is uh, go down and this is the uh, conversation flow over here uh, just edit uh, this and rename the tag the label and enter the question that you will be having over here so let's say whenever uh, a user enters or uh, visits the support widget and he wants to connect with the with you or with the with the platform or support team so you can just uh, if you want some details like uh, you want uh, to have the name of the customer right then would be The question is what's your name and the response time should be name that means uh, apart from the name if uh, the, the customer enters any other thing then it won't proceed to the next flow or to the chat unless the correct response is added and in case uh, the incorrect response is added you can just uh, reflect uh, the user response is invalid right or the bot will send an automated message that this uh, response doesn't uh, satisfy the question's requirement let's say invalid name now click on save right. then i'll just add another question so let's say contact number change the response type number or phone number and if an inv invalid response is entered then uh, this message will be rejected okay. 
so similarly uh, there are uh, certain templates or the certain options that you can response type that you can choose for several questions according to your requirement and uh, let's or you can just add a few multiple or few buttons also over there or let's say uh, add service type of service required and i select uh, the response type over here to let's say button and uh, the button title is the other will be so that means uh, if the user will click on this support icon or this button it will take him to the support chat or let's rename it as CSM support it will redirect him to the CSM support chat and if you click on the sales support it will redirect him to the sales support chat so accordingly uh, this was just for reference you can just edit on the names of the buttons or you can add uh, the urls also uh, behind right. and the response type you can select over here is Now let's say uh, if a person clicks on see have some support, you can add another custom questions over there. So let's say uh, for CSM support, name your response type should be email valid click on save right and similarly uh, same custom questions can be added uh, for the sales support so this is how the bot can be configured and uh, if i save and publish this so you'll see uh, the same flow will is it being reflected over the widget how it will be visible to the customer and uh, the last is uh, if this the hang on uh, the product specialist will con connect with you shortly this can also this text can also be right changed or it is configurable so you can just change it uh, according to your own requirement so currently a uh, bot uh, we just have is online bot and offline bot so online is uh, the for the online in the for the working hours and offline is beyond the working hours so same is the flow for the offline hours also thank you